What's up, Wildcats? In this episode of Cat's Eye News, there will be NFL predictions versus reality. Get to know your staff. And rides of know why. So make sure you sit down and enjoy this episode of the Cat's Eye News. See you in closing. So I'm Ms. Jones, I'm one of the unified coaches here in Novi and I'm also the district liaison. I'm Isaiah Schroeder and I am in 11th grade and I'm also one of the peers for unified. So unified here in the district has different components. We have a whole district engagement, we have our club component and we have our sports. Uh, unified is just a community. Uh, we think about unified as a a uh, place to grow and as a family. Uh, we're, we're honestly a family. So you can get involved in the sport aspect by joining us um, in our sport seasons. We do soccer in the fall, basketball in the winter, and bocce ball in the spring. You can go ahead and sign up on final forms or if you have any questions I'm in room 123 or the athletic department can help you. So more involved you can uh, actually go to my website. I'm going to be posting it. Um, and it's, it'll be called uh, Unified Cats. And uh, just sneak peek, we're gonna be doing a 2000s dance party throwback. So uh, we're gonna be doing the cha-cha slide and the cupid shuffle uh, after school. So make sure to join. <gasps> Hurry up, we're gonna be late for the host meeting. Novi High School students, join us Tuesday, October 8th for our first official Novi Hosa event of the school year. The event exploration begins at 6.15, followed by the informational meeting at 7. See you there! Hey Novi Wildcats, there's a girls across meeting right after school on October 2nd in room 243 with Coach West. They will talk about conditioning and prepping for the season and what more there is to it. Hope you be there. Hey Nawai, come join us on October 13th from 1 to 4 p.m. for Japanese Festival. We're going to be having kendo, martial arts, and authentic Japanese food for you. Hey Wildcats, Nova Astronomy Club will be having their second meeting tomorrow on October 3rd in room 247. Be sure to attend, they will be talking about Earth's second moon and more. What's up, Wildcats? This is our second episode of Rise of Novi. We have here... Nova. What kind of car do you have? Uh, this is a 2010 Camry. When did you get it? Uh, I got it last fall. My parents didn't want to drive me to swim practice, so they bought me a car. Alright, Leova, what do you change for this car? Uh, so, the first thing I did when I got this car, I added this CarPlay screen, because this used to be just a simple radio. I also fixed the cruise control. I also added a backup camera. So. We got a backup camera, which was nice. Yeah, so I'm financing this car for 46% APR for a period of nine years. Hey, you don't need a... <gasps> well, you found my fishing tackle. So this right here is Louie. Back there, that's Betty. Uh, whoa, no, no, don't touch Bobby. He's shy. I rate this car a 9.1 out of 10. I really like the addition to his interior with the backup camera, but I also love his fishing rods and how he named all of them. It's a very funny car, and thank you for watching Rides of Novi. Hello, this is Neil. I'm here with the CEN NFL Predictions vs. Reality. Here at the CEN, we like to hold our journalists accountable for what they say on air. For Jimmy, Ryuse, and Matthew, one correct prediction equals one point. Let's begin. The Vikings won 31-29 against the Packers. That's one point to Ryuse. The Colts won 27-24 against the Steelers. That's another point to Ryuse. The Buccaneers won 33-16 against the Eagles. That's one point to Jimmy. The Chiefs won 17-10 against the Chargers. That's a point to Jimmy. 
Jimmy, Ryusei, and Matthew. The Ravens won 35 to 10 against the Bills. That's no points to anyone. The Lions won 42 to 29 against the Seahawks, and all because Novi High School did a spirit day. That's a point each to Jimmy, Ryusei, and Matthew. In the end, we have Matthew on two points, Jimmy on three, and Ryusei wins with four points. I'll be back next week. Good day. What is up, Novi? This is your Detroit Sports Update. The Lions crushed the Seattle Seahawks on Monday Night Football after a 12-year losing streak against them, 42-29 with Jared Goff popping off, 100% completion rate of 18-18, and, and caught one touchdown by Amon Ross St. Brown. They'll be going into their bye week and prepare for the Cowboys for October 13th. And by the way, Decker reported that game. One interesting fact about this win is when the last time the Detroit Lions won against the Seattle Seahawks in 2012, the Tigers went to the World Series. Hopefully, this year we can have a repeat but both win the championship speaking of the tigers the tigers won against the white Sox to clinch a spot in the mlb playoff and as of the day of this recording the tigers are going against houston astros on tuesday and wednesday in the mlb playoffs u of m narrowly escaped and won against the minnesota 27 24 with a controversial flag that canceled the successful onside kick they'll be going against washington on october 5th MSG was dominated by Ohio State University 38-7 and are going against Rank 6 Oregon in October 4th. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for Friday for NFL Sunday predictions. This is Melissa and today I'm with... Bonjour, je suis Madame Miller. Bonjour, Madame Miller. What do you teach in Novi High School? I teach French 2 and AP IB French. What's your unpopular opinion? I don't like scary movies. Me too. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm here with Detective Moloch. And what's your role here at Novi High School? I'm the school resource officer. What's an unpopular opinion you have? Uh, I don't like peanut butter, chocolate, or caramel. Wow. We are here at the Villa Bar Art Park in Novi. It was first opened on October 12, 2018. Most works are by David Barr, who was an American artist, writer, as well as an educator. He created works of art that expressed his personal creative philosophy, which included the basic constructs of nature and drew inspirations from other art forms. They're all minimalist sculptures or designs that have much deeper meaning, and every one of them have similar aesthetic features. His work is recognized globally, and some of his sculptures are even exhibited in places you might know. For example, the Liberation Sculpture Series located in University of Michigan's North Campus Research Complex. Back to the park. It consists of a home, studio, and obviously the sculptures. A DIA artwork is also exhibited here. The intention of the park is to bring more art experiences to NoFi and to inspire others. that it has such constructivist and mathematical and geometrical kind of backgrounds, one would think it would be sterile. And yet it's not. It, it refers to nature. It's full of emotion. His, his art is fantastic. It is located at 22600 Napier Road, Novi, and it's right next to the ITC Trail Park. It is open to everyone from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it's completely free. This is Pranav signing off. See you next time, Wildcats. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Did you enjoy this episode of the Cat's Eye News? Yeah. Make sure to tune in for next episode. <laughs>